first day here is always like but good morning everybody um it's been a minute since i have college vlogs it's been a minute since i've vlogged period um mainly just because y'all i have not been happy with my content like i just haven't been happy with the way my channel was going um i hope y'all like my hair day one hair is always the my cutest like i said um but when i tell y'all i'm so mother effing tired like i didn't go to sleep until dang she closed i didn't go to sleep until 5 10 and i woke up at 6 30 well i was supposed to wake up at 6 20 but i didn't get out the bed until 6 30 and i left my house at 7 10. i'm tired it takes me 40 minutes to get to school in the morning well, this morning it took me 50 minutes because people got to be to work and stuff. But, yeah, it's just so difficult because I am at the age now where... Oh, my shirt. I'm at the age now where if I don't need to be up, like, if I have to force myself to stay up, it hurts me. So... It's just not it's just not good and I was up studying my labs and I was also up going over some chemistry and I'm just no like I don't like forcing myself to stay up because I learned the hard way don't mind my car y'all I literally like I got two lab coats back there because I'm in lab for like five hours I got a car seat in there because my pants went out of town so I was being a mommy for a little bit with Chloe and it's ultimately like it's, it's like a whole closet back here so don't mind that oh my gosh I need to trim my hair like what? what is this oh I need to trim my hair so bad um, let me know if you guys want a wash and go tutorial because my hair is nothing nothing like it used to look a year ago mainly because of the length like my hair has actually grown and two because i actually know what i'm doing with my hair now and for this particular style i use eco styler gel and i normally don't like eco styler gel for my wash and goes because it's like really flaky but I kind of figured out how to like manipulate it because I normally use the what is that gel it's like freeze gel or extreme I normally use like the clear extreme gel on my hair and that works really well for me but because I didn't have any more I had to use eco styler and I was really sad because this this the next day was going to be my outcome so oh shit See? Always something. Always. And I don't have no lip gloss. Oh my god. Whoo, child. I got so much to do. So much to do. And very, 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 very little time. Oh, found it. Boom. <laughs> ah, don't take me serious, y'all. But okay. Oh, did I tell you? I didn't tell y'all because I haven't posted. Duh. My mom ended up getting me an iPad. Um, is this an iPad Pro? I'm freaking out. She ended up getting me an iPad and an Apple Pencil because I literally told her like two days before she actually got this that I thought about I wanted one because I saw some of my classmates like taking notes on, on their like tablets and it's really convenient when your professor uploads powerpoints to your website like the school's websites or whatever and you can download them from your laptop or whatever so i would download them on my laptop and just like write hand notes but then when i would see like some students like actually like writing on the powerpoints i was like oh i need that and so i told my mom like maybe two days before she got this and then next thing you know she come home friday i got a surprise for you and i love her so much let me stop rambling because i need to get out the car and I didn't bring my backpack today. I'm trying to be paperless and not have to carry my big old backpack 
if I don't need to. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? I got Splenda in my purse for what? Okay, let me let me get myself together. I'm so tired. Like, I was supposed to make myself some coffee this morning when I got up, but um, mm -mm. I was just in my own world. I was just zoned out. So. I am completing my lab notebook before I start on the other work. <sighs> this is the life you would choose if you become a bio major or a STEM major, okay? Just just know that this is the life you're choosing for yourself. Um, I'm really hungry. Oh, I got post-lab questions. Just when I think things are going great. Just when I think stuff is going great. Like, why do I have post-op questions? Why don't you have results? That is some poo stuff, man. I'm over it. I'm over it. I have so much work to do in so little time. And my hair looks like, I don't know y'all, first day hair for me is not, can't even really see because of the reflection. I don't want to pull this in that thing fall because I ain't paying for it. I always tell myself I'm going to, I'm going to be all dolled up at school. I'm going to actually look like I care about my appearance and then the morning comes that I'm supposed to be caring about my appearance and this is how I come to school. Okay? This is what you see. So if you see me on Instagram, just know. This ain't it. Okay, this is this is me. Probably like every day. I, I think I look like this every day. Y'all, I have I have grown in college, okay? Because two, three years ago, ain't no way in heck. I'm trying not to cuss no more. There was no way that I was going to not be dolled up going to class. Like, my outfits would be very, like, soccer momish, but my face was going to be beat. Now, I don't think cute about me, y'all. That's my hair. And some, some days, that ain't even it. Okay? That's just what it is now. I, I be tired. I prefer taking the air shower to sleep and taking the air shower to do my makeup. Growth. Hashtag. Period. Logging out. All right, let me stop. My hair probably so stiff, y'all. Oh my hair! I promise my hair not dirty. No, I promise it's not dirty. It's just first day hair. It's very neat. It's very neat. morning welcome I'm up so I decided to go to Taco Bell cuz who don't like Taco Bell and I got me a freezy and I think I'm gonna do a little catch up with y'all cuz I haven't like been too open about a lot of stuff but yeah so Okay. So the ups and downs of being a bio major, y'all, for me, I can only speak for myself. I can only speak on my experience. Um, when you are a bio major, ooh, sorry, y'all. Ooh, you have to have a strong 
mindset. You have to build your mindset to not be weak. And when I mean weak, I mean like wear your feelings on your shoulders a lot because this is a very competitive um, major. It's a very fast paced major. It's a very, you got to keep up. And when you can't keep up, it can really take a toll on you. Oh, the lighting. It can really take a toll on you. I c couldn't keep up for a minute. Um, me coming to a new school, I had to learn their teaching style. It's very different than Clark Atlanta. When you wear your feelings on your sleeves a lot, for me, I'm a very emotional person. I've just come into tact with that. I wear my feelings on my sleeves a lot. Um, and I take a lot of things personal. And I'm trying to build tougher skin because I oftentimes feel, for one, I'm the only African American in most, if not all of my courses. So coming from a dominant black school, you know what I mean? Well, not dominant, everybody in my class was black. So coming from that to a school where it's mostly Asians and it's mostly um, Indians, it's most different races it's not so much black people i don't think i've i don't i've probably seen so far being at fullerton probably like 15 people that's black since like january it's it's march so well i haven't roamed around anyways but that's besides the point i feel like me i have to prove not just to to you know my surroundings like I belong here just as much as you do but I have to prove it to myself and me wearing my feelings on my sleeves you can't do that you cannot get in your head because when I get in my head y'all I swear it's so hard to get out I can easily 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 slip back into I don't want to say a depressing mindset but I can go back into a depressing mindset I can really be like downing on myself I don't have self-confidence I don't have with a lot of stuff, not just school, but it takes a toll on a lot of things. So that is something that I want y'all to keep in mind. When you are being a STEM major and you're going in a career field that is very serious and it's very, you need to like know that you want to do this. Like this can't be nothing that you want to lollygag in. So much, it is so much, okay? It's so much memorization, it's so much time it like i just told you like i went to sleep at 5 10 and woke up at 6 30 like it's a lot of those nights and if you cannot mentally prepare yourself for that and you cannot say this is what i want and this is what i'm going to get this is what i'm going to prove to not just people around me but to myself i'm telling y'all don't put yourself through it okay and for me the hardest part for me was changing my mindset because I was in such a negative space to where I was like letting him, her, and her, you know, make me feel like I'm not good enough to where I self-doubted myself and I just have to work 10 times harder and that's okay because for me, I'm such a loading processing person and with being in like such high courses you don't have time to sit and let your stuff load like you need to get it because the person next to you got it the person next to them got it and they're taking those extra steps to get it so if they can do it you can do it too okay so that's just my little preaching method because my food getting cold but i just want y'all to know that seriously like if you're a bio major i know a lot of times i say i hope i'm not the only one going through this because i know i'm not the only one going through this um but you just really have to stay positive, man. Like, when I tell you, I be so many days, I'm just like, do I really want to go to school? Like, do I really want to go to class? But they really, I didn't pay for this. So I really do need to go to class. But other than that, like, when I'm in class, I feel like if I'm not about to be focused and I'm not about to actually try, I'm not coming. But I can't be like that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to be productive and stay 100% in, in class. So... That's why I said I was so proud of myself for not, you know, opting out today. Like, I was really in it. So, that's why I got myself a free. But, y'all, I don't see how people do these mukbangs because you eating and talking. 
It's a lot. It is a lot. But, yeah. I have a physics exam on Friday. And I am going to tutoring tonight because it's from 6 to 8. Because I really can't go to the one that's at 11 that's during the daytime because I'm in class. But now that I think about it, I really could have went. I want to try to comment down below what type of videos you want to see from me. Because, like I said, I am trying to do like a whole new thing on my channel. Like I really do not like the content I've been putting out. So, I'm trying to do a new thing. So, let me know some videos y'all want to see that y'all actually going to watch. Okay? Because I don't want to be up in here making these videos and ain't nobody watching them. But me and my mama. And Chloe. Okay. Um... I am going to be filming a workout routine because I think a lot has changed. And I'm also going to be doing um, a weight gain, kind of like journey type thing. Um, I have some good stuff in the making. So I think I'm going to do stuff different this time. And I'm going to show you all my process. And I can do that next week since I don't have school. Oh my God, I don't have school next week. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. But I got a physical test that I have to do good on. Okay? I have to. Ain't no other way. Because I don't come to school tomorrow. And I'm not coming to school tomorrow. Because I don't have to. Mmm. 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 I am a taco. I should have ate these first. But yeah. I feel like. Y'all ever see, like, white bands and then, like, you get, like, hella creeped out? I don't know. White bands ain't for me. I just feel like they got somebody in the back. Like a body. I don't play with white bands. Oh, my chest. Dang. When I tell you, first of all, my face is about to break out like crazy because right here, I don't know what the heck is going on, but on my cheeks is definitely from what I eat. Um, and I do not drink soda. I'm not supposed to eat any candy like a lollipop, sugar baby, hot tamale, Skittles, none of that because I'm going to break out. But sometimes I just don't care. Um, and the days that I just don't care is showing on my cheeks. But yeah, y'all. I normally just drink straight water and like energy drinks. And I'm starting to pick, pick up coffee, but with coffee, I have to eat. Because I recently have just been drinking coffee by itself, and it's not good for me. It's actually, like, the opposite of helping me. So, yeah. Mm. I'm even going to eat my food, because I need to get back to campus so I can meet up in the library with these other people so I can actually learn. Now, even more. I'm way more serious than I was with school as I should have been before but like now even more I'm like way more serious about getting my academics together because I got goals and I have things that I want to accomplish and I don't have time to be messing up my own self because nobody else is messing me up but myself so I don't have time for that anymore and if y'all hear my slides I'm sorry that's just how I come to school. But I'm gonna try not to do that.